It's three things. The first one is sneaker is hot, and I think that is replacing brand shoes very quickly, and you can see that in the street. So that's a long-term push. I think that uh, we are, our customer is a young adult customer, and uh, don't forget, employment is at ever low. They get better pay, they get a job, so they get more buying poor, and they're buying sneaker every day. So is the sneaker the new lipstick? Because in a recession or recessionary conditions, mm -hmm. we used to say the lipstick was resilient. Yes. Is it now the sneaker that's the, the new lipstick? Yeah, I think, I think it's, you know, it's a very affordable luxury to change, to change your, your, you know, it's, it's around 100 pounds for a new pair of sneaker, and you keep having new release, new stuff, and, and you can be very passionate. I, I'm amazed when, when you speak with young people, just knowing all the model, all the new stuff coming, where it's where the story behind, you know, with uh, the film that has been done around that, the Jordan film, as uh, oh, you film. just talking about what we yes. No, but it's true. I mean, you're it's absolutely just my, my, culture. my it's 24 year old son. Um, he, he knows more about the and bearing in mind, my family is history in, in your business. We, we have a very long family going back to just after the Second World War. But my, my son knows everything about every shoe brand, it's amazing their knowledge. And I guess it's the social media thing. So, yes. there's an obvious question uh, how aggressive do you? You have to be on social media in order to keep the eyeballs going JD's way. I think we just need to, to follow what's happening. More than being aggressive, it's following and understanding. And the fact that we are all, everywhere in the world, we pick trends. You know, some of the trends on the, on the Terra shoes we pick in Liverpool, some of the trends we pick in Italy, some of the trends we pick in Australia, in in the US. So by our global reach and the fact that we get the information, we, get, we pick the trend before. That's really interesting. Look, you are saying that things are tough out there on the, on the macro front as well. In fact, so much so that you've actually I had a little look at your store front and you've, you've rationalized by 43. It's a small number of the total number of um, stores as well. But, but is that going to be a continuation from here? Macro's tough. JD, you've got, you're very happy with your offering. You're very happy with staying ahead of the, the fashion curve, so to speak, as well. But, but is the macro going to lead to more rationalization? No. The the 43 store is because we divest uh, fashion. Uh, so the reality is that we opened 83 stores in the first half and uh, around the globe, and we will open more than 200 stores this year. So we keep uh, opening doors. Where are you most excited about growth-wise? Uh, Europe, I think Italy, uh, Spain, France, Portugal. When we open store, you know, after you know, there is some store we were due to do six, seven million. We do double, so we we keep going on expanding the space and and really a huge demand. So really exciting uh, in Europe, very good in in US too. So we see a lot of uh, excitement. Let's say before Karen comes in, I, I made a massive mistake in Paris because um, the kids have been. We've trailed around with my wife and I for three days, you know, and at the end of a holiday. So I did let them go to, uh, dare I say, amongst other stores, amongst other fashion retailers, yours in Les Halles, I think you've got one there. Couldn't get them out. Right. Couldn't get them out. What? Musée de l'Orangerie, they were like whipping around. JD Sports, I mean, again, but they, they, they went to other stores as well and other sports stops as well, but it's just like, yeah. Can it's I hard work. bring up the promotional environment? Because I've got to say, well, as a shopper, I want a discount now if I'm shopping, and that's on everything. You mentioned that uh, there's a more normal promotional environment uh, settling in. But what does it mean? Do you think we're, we're setting up for more discounts? Because to get that consumer to, to part with their cash at the end of the day, it's going to require some form of a discount. I think we, we don't see that. I think we see some of it on the market. But if you have the right product, the discount is not, is not what the customer is attracting. They want the new Samba, they want the new Air Force, they want the new Jordan. I think that the discount is not part of the deal. In fact, you have resellers selling the same product uh, 20 or 30% more uh, at a higher price. So it's not about discount. So 